Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm big at you with another video, man. New media notification game. Gold Sports. What it is, man? Look, check this out. So, Altor Better Be got the dub over Dimitri Bivol this past weekend. Congratulations to Altor Better Be. I did uh, pick Better Beef to win. I did want Better Beef to win. But uh, in all honesty, bro, I honestly, when I, I scored the fight twice, and both times I scored the fight, I, it came out the same, 114-114, a draw. And the only reason why it came out 114-114 was because of the last two rounds I scored. And in the last two rounds of the fight, 11th and the 12th, I gave to uh, Artur Better Beef. But up until that point, Bivol was doing his thing. All Dimitri Bivol had to do on my scorecard was win one of the last two rounds. And he did not win those last two rounds based on my scorecard. If you don't agree with that, feel free to correct me in the comment section. But I did watch the fight. I watched the fight um, with sound. And then I watched the fight again twice with no sound. Both of those times I watched it, I scored it. Both of those times that I scored it, I came out to the same ending score. 114-114, a draw, right? So do I think some of the judges that are in boxing are biased or they don't know what the fuck they're doing? Yes. Why do I think they gave uh, Altura Better Beef the win? Forward pressure. Not necessarily because he did anything or he was doing something super special. It was mainly Altura Better Be pressing the whole night. Just going forward, going forward, going forward, going forward. And there is something that they give you credit for in the amateurs that they do not give you credit for as a professional, depending on who you are, per se. It all depends on the person. But ring generalship. Ring generalship is something that people, that, that, that judges look at in the amateurs. They do look at ring generalship in the amateurs. And for those who don't know what ring generalship is, it is the way you move around the ring, avoiding punches, using your footwork. OK, that is considered to be ring generalship, the way you move around the ring. OK, showing good ring generalship is when it's somebody like Pernell Ritiker. He shows good ring generalship. Uh, Floyd Money Mayweather, when he's getting under punches, moving, boom, boom, boom. That's ring generalship. OK, just to give you a sum up. Right. So, you know what I'm talking about. And I think what Dimitri Bivol was doing was good ring generalship, but the judges was not looking at the ring generalship. They was looking at the person who was applying the pressure, who was basically in their minds dictating the pace of the fight, which was in their mind a auteur better beef. Okay. So do I think Dimitri Bivol was robbed? No, I do not think he was robbed because it wasn't like he was just destroying auteur better beef and a lot of the rounds. And a lot of and <clears throat> it wasn't excuse me. It wasn't like he was just whooping Alter Better Beef's ass for the vast majority of the fight. And they still gave it to Alter Better Beef in the end just because he was coming forward type shit. No, nah, that wasn't the case. OK, Dimitri Bivol had moments where he would um, throw a lot of shots. He was getting off his punches, all the shit. And Alter Better Beef would throw one or two punches back, which would mummify Dimitri Bivol's offense. And I think the judges was looking at that as well. But again. If Dimitri Bivol wins one, he didn't even have to win both of them. If he just would have won one of the last two rounds, he would have won the fight on my scorecard. He would have he would have won that fight, no problem. Okay, so the fact that and he would have won seven five, you know what I'm saying? So or eight four, you know what I'm saying? If he would have won the last two rounds, it would have been eight four Bivol. If he would have won one of the last two rounds, it would have been 7-5 Bivol. So to the judge that only gave Bivol four fucking rounds, you got to be ashamed of yourself. Kick that nigga out of boxing. Or the bitch. If it was a female, kick that bitch out. Ain't no way Bivol only won four goddamn rounds. Stop it. Stop that shit. And oh, oh, this nigga. Andre Punk ass, light, bright, piss colored SOG ward. Let me holler at you, playboy. 
I saw a comment you left about Dimitri Bivol when he actually admitted that he lost and he accepted the fact that he lost. He didn't make no excuses. He didn't blame the judges. He wasn't on no ho shit. He literally just said, I lost. Gotta take my L. It is what it is. And your light bright piss color ass when Lee comments talking about, oh, you don't never want to admit that you lost like that. That's how people want to, that's why, that's how people uh, start wanting to see rematches, blah, 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 blah. It's like, so you telling me, Andre, because Dimitri Bivol has more integrity and more sportsmanship than you that may nobody gonna want to see a Dimitri Bivol ultra better beef two fight, bro. Cause he was honest in the post conference. Meanwhile, let me give you some history. There was a fight between two heavyweights, Hall of Famers. One is considered to be the GOAT, and in my opinion, he is the GOAT. Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier. First fight. Who won that fight? Joe Frazier. Whipped Ali's ass. Was it a good fight? Yeah, it was a good fight. The Bivu and Archer Better Beef was a good fight. But Joe Frazier, smoking Joe, whipped Ali's ass that night. Nigga, anybody that tell you that that was a possible even with... No, nigga, Joe Frazier whipped Ali's ass that night. This ain't the thriller in Manila. I'm talking about the very first fight between Joe Frazier and Ali. Joe Frazier waxed that nigga's ass. Tore him up. Gave him something to think about. All the shit. And yet, even after Joe Frazier wazzes, ass, 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 whipped Ali's ass, we still got two more fights out these niggas. Okay? So don't hit me with the whole... Because Bivol was being honest and had good sportsmanship. And I'm going to execute the, he's he supposed, this is Sun Tzu. No, the fuck it ain't, nigga. And based on a lot of Sun Tzu tactics, that goes against your belief system as a Christian, nigga. So you a lie to the folk? We supposed to be honest people. We supposed to be straightforward. Truth tellers. We ain't got to lie to fake the funk for the, for the business of boxing. We ain't in this for, for the business. We in this for Jesus. Remember? It's about the Lord. This is about the gift that God gave me the ability to do this. I'm doing this because this is what God gave me the ability to do. Not you motherfuckers that's playing the political game in boxing. I do this for Jesus. What happened to that, Andre? Jesus own thing got ain't not near Sun Tzu tactic in the Jesus uh, recommendations, bro. Ain't none of the Sun Tzu tactics in the Ten Commandments, bro fuck you talking about anyway andre on some ho shit he on some piss color nigga shit that's what he on he on that he on that he on that light skin time no disrespect to my light skin people okay no disrespect to y'all but andre he, he on that type of time he on that light skin shit okay uh anyway <clears throat> but hats off to alter a better beef I did want you to win the fight, but I I, I wanted you I wanted Alter to it be a decisive win. You know what I mean? Like an obvious win, not one we got to question. Okay. So do I believe that we'll get a second fight between these two? Yeah, I think it'll happen. I think it'll happen. People people are saying Biffle got robbed, even though I don't think Biffle got robbed, but we will get a second fight between these two individuals because of how the outcome of the last fight happened. I do think Bivol will come out and throw more, he'll pick his spots more and better in the second fight. And I think that if he fights a just a just all he got to do is win one more round, he wins the fight. But I, I think I think the the second fight, Bivol gonna get that. Bivol gonna get that done. But salute to you, congratulations to Alter a Better Beef. Um, I don't I don't think you won, but hey, the judges think different, man. So it is what it is. So, to all y'all that say Bivol got robbed, I don't agree. I don't agree with that per se. That's why you know. And shout out to my nigga Duce because I had uh, me and him had a um, we didn't have a better nothing. But I was talking my little shit to Duce on Wednesday, and I told him I said we funk until Sunday because I'm picking Better Beef to win and shit. And um, when we had we had spoke, 
and he was just like, bro, I've been hyping this nigga up. And it's like, what people don't realize what Duce is Duce was a was an advocate for Dimitri Bivol when Deontay Wilder had the WBC belt. And we was we was so caught up in hyping up Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. This nigga was talking Dimitri Bivol. So before all y'all was talking Dimitri Bivol, that nigga, Mr. Two Hands Up, was talking Dimitri Bivol before all of us. So salute to you, bro. Put some respect on my nigga name, as always. You know what I'm saying? That's my nigga, Reaper Gang. Shout out to the Reaper Gang and Reaper Gang Radio. But um, at the end of the day, Ultra Better Beef got the dub. Congratulations to you. But I think Biv will going to get you the second go round.